So Disney BFFs are adorable. You got Buzz and Woody, Copper and Todd, Kristoff and Sven. But you know what is the best girl BFF duo that Disney has made? Tiana and Lottie from Princess and the Frog. And I'm gonna tell you why. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. So Princess and the Frog is an iconic movie for a multitude of reasons. Amazing soundtrack, beautiful design, representation for people of color, a great love story, good sidekicks, the list goes on. But a character that I love from the movie is Lottie, Tiana's best friend. And I just feel the need to talk about all the reasons why their friendship is golden. Also, if you want more videos like this, analyzing friendships and relationships in Disney movies, comment down below on what duo I should do next. So I've knocked it down to only five reasons why Tiana and Lottie are the best of friends. Reason one, they are friends despite family income and racial differences. So it's no secret that Lottie is rich beyond belief and white, and Tiana is poor and African American. Yet the movie opens up on the two of them giggling, listening to a story like little girls at a sleepover or on a play date, and it's adorable. Tiana's mom makes dresses for Lottie, which is probably how Lottie and Tiana got introduced, but they they didn't think of each other as different, but instead they became friends despite it. They laugh together, play together, and enjoy being around each other, which is important for any child to see that friendship can be with anyone, no matter those unchangeable differences like racial and social class. Reason two, they are also friends despite their very different personalities. So we see them grow up and still be friends, which means that they were childhood besties and stayed that way. It's tough to keep a friend for that long alone on top of everything else. But they also stay friends even though they're very different people. Tiana is a hard worker who doesn't really care to find true love. She wants a restaurant and to cook, while Lottie is rich, rather spoiled, and wants nothing else than to find her Prince Charming and become a princess. I would kiss a frog. I would kiss a hundred frogs if I'd have married a prince and be a princess. I mean, if anything, this is a great metaphor for Disney princesses. Lottie representing the older fashioned kind of princess of finding true love, wearing fancy dresses, and Tiana representing the more modern day princess of being independent and wanting to forge their own path. And their friendship together shows that neither type of princess is better than the other. Old fashioned and modern princesses can get along and be friends because what's more important is women supporting women and their choices, no matter how different they are. Reason three, Lottie doesn't give Tiana money without a cause. Yes, this is a reason why they are great friends. Lottie certainly has plenty of money and is knowledgeable about Tiana's dream to open her own restaurant, yet she never gives her the money to open it before. But we know how Tiana is. She's a hard worker. She's proud of what she earns by doing all the hard work that she does. And I doubt that Tiana would take a handout like that from Lottie. And I also doubt that Lottie hasn't offered it to Tiana without Tiana rejecting it before. So when Lottie does see an opportunity, she pounces on it. Hire Tiana to be a caterer with all her beignets at the ball and pay her for her service, which would be enough money for her to pay off getting her restaurant. <laughs> And Lottie knows that Tiana's a hard worker, a good cook, and deserves this chance, so she helps her out. I'm gonna need about 500 of your man kitchen beignets for my ball tonight. <laughs> Excuse me, Daddy. Will this about cover it? <laughs> this should cover it just fine, Lottie. This is it. I'm getting my restaurant. <laughs> But she does so by still making sure that Tiana feels like she's earning that money, helping her without insulting her pride. Reason four, they're there for each other. So Tiana is there for Lottie when Lottie gets all upset that her prince hasn't arrived yet. And while Tiana does think that she's being a little bit overdramatic, she's still there for her to calm her down, help her out and offer her sage advice like she always does. And Lottie is there for Tiana when she sees her on the ground covered in the big beignet mess. Now, Lottie could have gotten upset about seeing her man catching beignets ruined for her prince, but she doesn't. I, I, I just oh, you poor dear. She instead helps Tiana up, takes her to get cleaned up with a new dress of her own, and leaves the prince. Oh, Prince Devane! We'll be right back, sugar! I got just the dress for you. 
This is a big deal, okay? This is a chance of a lifetime for Lottie to be with a prince and live out her dream of becoming a princess. And she puts it all on hold when she sees that her best friend is on the ground, dirty and upset. And so she leaves to help her out first. Now, you may be thinking, but she just gives her a dress and doesn't ask her what's wrong and just goes back to the prince. To which I say, you did not watch the same scene that I did from Lottie's perspective. Lottie doesn't ask because she probably assumes what is wrong and it's not that Tiana lost the restaurant. Firstly, Lottie definitely has white privilege and wouldn't think that someone would back out on a deal like that just because of race or skin color. She's never had to face something like that. It's not okay to be ignorant about your white privilege, but this was the 1920s, so I'll give her a pass for this. But furthermore, Lottie saw that Tiana's costume was dirty and that the table was a wreck. So I'm guessing that she thinks Tiana's upset because her clothes are dirty, so she fixes that with a new dress, but also that Tiana is upset that she messed up the beignet table, the whole reason she was there tonight, and the whole reason that Lottie gave her money in the first place. Maybe Lottie thinks that Tiana thinks that she's gonna back out on that money and ask for it back, and she wouldn't have her restaurant anymore. And of course, Lottie is like, no, I would never do that. So she just reassures her and helps her get cleaned up so she can get back to the ball and enjoy it. Beignets be damned. And then Tiana walks out in the dress, nervous, shy, sullen. And in Lottie's mind, she's probably thinking, oh, there's Tia, thinking she's not beautiful and being uncomfortable in my fancy dress. Because if you uh, didn't notice, Tiana doesn't wear glamorous dresses or really care about looking like a princess. She showed up to the party in a brown duchess outfit. So Lottie probably thinks that Tiana's just being her normal self, being uncomfortable, wearing a glamorous dress. So Lottie reassures her, compliments her, you just as pretty as a magnolia in May. And tells her everything's going to be fine because they're gonna have their dreams come true tonight. Seems like only yesterday we were both little girls dreaming our fairy tale dreams. And tonight they're finally coming true. That's true, as far as Lottie is concerned, both of their dreams are still going to happen. And Tiana could have told Lottie about it, but she probably needed some time to be upset. And it's not her fault that she got turned into a frog and couldn't tell her best friend about what actually happened. And reason five, they can be happy for one another without jealousy. So this is a big one for female relationships. There easily could have been jealousy or fights over a man, but there is none of it and it's perfect. Tiana easily could have hated Lottie because she's white and rich and privileged, and Lottie could have easily hated Tiana because of racism, but they didn't. Tiana is happy when she sees Lottie out on the dance floor dancing with her Prince Charming. And Lottie is happy for Tiana when she sees that she finally found love and a happily ever after, with the real Nobby. She could have been jealous and pitted against Tiana, but as soon as she knows about Tiana's true feelings for Nobby, she agrees to kiss Nobby, break the spell, no marriage required. All my life, I read about true love and fairy tales, and Tia, you found it. I'll kiss him for you, honey. No marriage required. Lottie just wants her best friend to be happy and will do whatever it takes to make that happen. Even if it means that she doesn't get the prince that she always wanted. She didn't really love Naveen, she just loved the idea of a prince so she could become a princess. So don't be saying that Tiana is a man stealer because she's not. Lottie gives that up and is happy because it makes Tiana happy. And she knows that Tiana would do and probably has done the same for her if the roles were switched. I love these two as friends and they are very carefully and perfectly perfectly executed in the movie to show just how strong their friendship is and how friendships like this can be. Also, Lottie's overly Southern Belle accent is just the bee's knees. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more Disney analysis videos like this or just any other kind of fun Disney content, be sure to subscribe down below for more. And also make sure that you comment what other duos that you would like me to analyze in the comment section down below and I will see which ones I would like to do in the future. And if you like this video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell.